All right, my yellow was down to 1%. My maintenance tank was full. Um, my photo black was completely empty, even though it registered as being nearly 70%, but had a new one of those already. And uh, so I'd ordered a new yellow. This is the used one here and a new maintenance tank. Replaced all those. Uh, of course, I couldn't even get in to replace the yellow until I replaced the maintenance tank since it would lock me out. You turn it on, it pressurizes, and then just instantly depressurizes and says replace maintenance tank. And uh, won't let me in there no matter what. And uh, so I got in there to replace the yellow, and finally I had a chance to weigh photo black and realized that, yeah, it was completely empty, only 60 grams, which is the weight of a completely empty cartridge, so even though it was saying that I had almost 70% left uh, on the readout. And uh, so I swapped this in there and quickly found out why. It was, okay, this is my nozzle checks. Where are my nozzle checks? Here they are. And it's because it's dribbling. So yeah, it used to be 70%, but it all leaked out. And um, at least uh, my nozzle checks show that all the nozzles were firing. And so that was comforting, but yeah, you could see that the test was just not finishing right. Air would get into the lines here, and um, so it eventually just aborted. And, um, but when I switched back to bat, everything's perfect. Let's finish the test just fine, nothing's missing. Uh, a manual nozzle check looked great as well. So yeah, we're good now, And uh, as long as I stay on mat, which is a very common problem, known issue. And, um, now, I don't know, I guess, what I'm going to be using it for. I plan to make boxes somewhat like this, where they're graphical and they're made out of poster board. And I don't know what black is useful for that. And, um, but, you know, this is a straight feed printer that can print on poster board. And only one I even know of that can do that, other than, you know, its predecessors and successors, others in the same family. And, uh, but what I'm, I'm not trying to copy this or anything, I'm trying to take like an old clamshell box, think like a Disney VHS tape or something, but make my own paper versions of it with graphics printed on it. And um, so yeah, you can see that's exactly what this is. It's basically poster board that's been printed on. And um, they say that this tray is for poster board, but I've never seen photo printable poster board before. <laughs> I don't know where you get that and how much it would cost and whether it's even economical to do and uh, much less what ink it would use. So if anybody knows uh, anything about printing on poster board, I mean, it, it must be something people do for this to even exist. And, um, oops, I should put this back on there. So, and uh, but I'm happy, I only spent like 10 bucks on this and uh, even after buying scales and ink and everything else, uh, I'm still coming out way ahead.